hey what's really going on bitcoin cryptocurrency today going to be taking a look at xlm stellar lumen against usdt going to be taking a look at some of these key technical aspects of price action moving forward going to be assessing some of the key pivotal areas of support and resistance i believe we're going to be interacting with in the very near future here uh, let me know in the comments down below are you bullish are you bearish on price action now do you trade do you hold do you let the price action unfold uh, what is your kind of plans on uh, kind of the direction of uh, price action moving forward do you think we've uh, found support and we're likely to head back upward and interact with these um, you know almost a dollar range that we kind of came from not too long ago uh, or are we still bearish and uh, we're looking for support at these lower levels and we could get trapped in uh, accumulation for our kind of like longer phase of time let me know uh, your thoughts in the uh, comment section um, now jumping right into it to kind of recap price action that has had these uh, very parabolic ups and then sideways um, you know after this kind of like um, sort of like third sort of phase of that we've had um, these rallies kind of like upward um, to create these uh, higher highs looking quite bullish uh, along significant uh, support levels um, this 38 cent uh, support level that inter that interact with the price action as support and resistance uh, we had resistance uh, at the kind of 6th and 7th of january the 29th of january and then we were able to kind of break above and be kind of between the 6th of february and like the 9th there uh, we printed some higher highs uh, relative to kind of like uh, previous price action in this range of like 55 cents to 60 cents and then we came all the way back down to that 38 cent level to confirm it as support for a period of weeks before we were to rally uh, kind of upward here. We had this uh, sort of like fake out downward, uh, if you will, on the kind of 24th of March there. Price action recovered very quickly, retested the 38 cent line, uh, rallied up in a very bullish manner, interacted with that 55 to 59 cent resistance uh, very briefly, only to kind of like print this uh, higher low along 48 cents to rally upward and print these higher highs. Uh, you know, the higher we get in these kind of price, uh, these kind of price levels, I do believe the more resistance we interact with. And so we ended up having uh, kind of like a brief exhaustion uh, yet again on the kind of 13th and 14th of April here. Um, printing some like higher highs though relative to this swing high at the 13th of February. So we were kind of, you know, still bullish. Price action came back down, failed to hold uh, 48 cents, but ended up printing a very bullish higher low at that kind of like 38 cent level yet again, confirming it as uh, kind of more support. Came back up flew through uh, 48 cents and interacted with this 55 cents to 60 cent resistance level that we interacted with at the uh, middle of February there. Uh, printed some higher highs yet again, higher highs after higher highs. Price action was looking very bullish. We were coming down to retest this uh, 60 cent level as support. You know, price action was looking quite bullish, but then momentum changed very abruptly and uh, we ended up breaking downward, plummeting through uh, what could have been very significant support all the way between like 60 cents, 55 cents, or 48 cents. And we even plowed through eventually this 38 cent level that we've uh, kind of been interacting with uh, for the past kind of like few weeks here. Uh, we had price action uh, trying to rally above it, trying to find support along it, but we ultimately uh, started to open and close kind of below it. We even looked to confirm it as resistance uh, on the kind of the 5th, 6th, and sort of like the 7th of June there when we kind of like uh, finally broke down. Uh, overall, we are looking uh, still quite bullish, though, fundamentally, as these dips are being bought up. Um, I do believe we are approaching our kind of like, or sort of like last sort of area of support before we might plummet to uh, kind of my most bearish target of 24 cents, uh, in my opinion, if price action can't uh, hold here. Uh, we do believe some lower levels are um, going to in a very near future, although we do seem to be uh, bullish enough to potentially hold at this range and make our way back up to uh, potential kind of like short-term resistance at like 35 cents, but, but then there's going to be more significant resistance at that 38 cents. Uh, which, if we make our way up to it, we could very well get slapped right back down, um, as that is going to be a very significant level uh, moving forward. But when we consider Engineering Robo, along with the FIBA Zucchini, FIBA Lamborghini, FIBA Illuminati, FIBA Geometry levels, we can see a new perspective come into play. We consider that uh, 0 0.382 line at 32 cents. Um, that seems to be a very kind of pivotal level that we appear to be, um, you know, by opening below. Uh, at the moment and so if uh, 32 cents becomes resistance that might definitely uh, kind of push us down to 24 cents in the kind of like a uh, very near future here uh, although if price action is bullish enough to kind of bounce off this current level and we can find our way above 32 cents that 0.382 fibonacci line uh, we can interact with 38 cents again uh, which is uh, coincidentally near that 200 uh, daily moving average which is going to be um, a very uh, bullish or bearish long-term indicator and at the moment based on price action below it that is uh, a tad uh, technically bearish um, and so i believe we're going to be met with very high sell pressure at that level 
Um, it also happens to be near resistance, and just above that at 41 cents is um, even more resistance at that 0 0.5 Fibonacci line. And so even if we do break uh, the 200 daily moving average and 38 cents, 41 cents is going to be another kind of like selling point, and we might have to hold 38 cents again, similar to uh, these kind of weeks between the 23rd of February and the end of March there. We might have to hold along 38 cents again before we can uh, break the 0 0.5 line and interact with uh, these kind of upper levels that we came from. We do have a lot of sell signals present at this uh, very huge candle that uh, opened uh, kind of like near 64 cents, wicked all the way down to 28 cents, but then closed at like 44 cents, giving us this you know crazy range uh, that we're kind of currently trading in. Um, like I said, fundamentally, I do believe we're still quite bullish and the uptrend uh, wants to continue. But uh, from a technical standpoint, some sell-off might be uh, in our kind of near future. Some lower levels might present themselves first before the uptrend can continue. Um, and so a new perspective comes, to, comes into play when we consider XLM against Bitcoin. We can see a um, you know interaction with this uh, significant range of resistance, I believe now, uh, between 12.05 and uh, 12.89. We had rejections off of it at the kind of like uh, end of November of 2020 and the uh, 13th of February of this year. We ended up breaking it, setting some higher highs and interacting with this upper level of resistance at like 15.62 Satoshi. Um, but that was very significant resistance after a very kind of like, you know, vertical run up like that. Some sell off was necessary, but we ended up plowing right through what could have been significant support at 12.89 Satoshi, fell even through 12.03. And we tried to hold, but appears to be at the 10.43 line. Um, although these kind of like multiple rejections, kind of like lower highs, off of this kind of resistance zone here, uh, I believe was uh, significant enough to push us through potential support at 10.33. And now I do believe we're interacting with uh, uh, what could be our last sort of like uh, level of support before this, uh, my significant support line at like 7.51 Satoshi. Um, I do believe this is a kind of like local level that price action could hold moving forward. Although um, I do believe interaction with uh, 7.55 Satoshi might be, uh, you know, inevitable in our kind of like uh, initial short term future here. Uh, we could have some wicks kind of down to it as price action finds its way sideways along uh, this kind of current level it's near. But when we consider engineering robo along with the Fibazucchini lines, we can see that 0 0.382 line coming into play with that current price action, um, as I was kind of like suggesting here, that we're near a pivotal level. Um, if price action were to bounce and find its way above the 0 0.382 level at 839 Satoshi, uh, just above current price action, uh, we will be met with uh, great sell pressure at the 884 uh, Satoshi level, as that is where the 200 daily moving average will be. And uh, continued rejection and resistance along that is going to be uh, a tad bearish, in my opinion, uh, and for the short and potential midterm. Um, and I do believe uh, if we can't make our way above that 0 0.382 line, we are likely to interact with uh, 751 Satoshi there. Uh, the 0 0.5 Fibonacci line at uh, 988 Satoshi is going to be our next kind of set of resistance above the 200 daily moving average. But support found at that level, I believe, is going to be very bullish. Uh, the sell for and hell in play still uh, against the price of Bitcoin. So I bet it's going to be uh, rather kind of like, you know, midterm uh, bearish, in my opinion, until engineering robo can become bullish. Uh, we can expect some uh, some more downside to resent themselves. Uh, but the 0 0.382 Fibonacci line is going to be, um, you know, a very significant level moving forward. And price action, I do believe, is fundamentally bullish enough to potentially make its way above and find support along that range. Um, but we are, um, you know, could very well, some lower levels could very well present themselves uh, kind of first before the uptrend can continue. But when we consider Bitcoin, we can see a new perspective come into play. Uh, this pullback coming to fruition, uh, kind of like how I suggested in a previous analysis, a pullback to this range of like 37,000, um, I believe, was uh, was like likely to occur upon this kind of like little exhaustion. On the kind of 15th of June here, we had um, resistance found a kind of like relative higher high to kind of all these kind of swing lows and a potential breakout and retest. Um, so we could be very bullish here and make our way back up to this uh, kind of level that we just came from 40,000, 41,000 is not far away. Although very, very significant sell pressure at the 0 0.618 line, 41,500 and 42,800, I believe is going to be very, very significant resistance and very significant sell pressure that could slap price action all the way back down to the 0 0.5 Fibonacci line or even 32K. Um, and so, uh, you know, price action finding support at this level currently will be a very bullish higher low and, um, you know, would be very bullish short term, I, I believe. But um, a rejection off of the 0 0.618 line at 41,500 um, is going to be quite bearish and could send us into some uh, prolonged phases of sideways for the coming kind of like weeks. Until price action is above the 200 daily moving average, um, I can be kind of like midterm bearish and just expect uh, some very volatile sell pressure as we do pump. There's going to be a lot of um, traders taking profit and so price action is likely to be met with a retracement and like a retest downward to find support. 
Uh, but you know, once we're above that 200 daily moving average, I believe uh, price action will be uh, kind of more freely flowing in the up uptrend again, like it wants to be. And uh, our next kind of significant resistance is going to be above like 48k, um, kind of between 51k as a range we could uh, find price action interacting with. And so we will have um, significant pivot levels moving forward as the uptrend kind of continues before we can return to all-time highs. Um, but I do believe based on the uh, fundamental demand of Bitcoin at these levels, uh, the uptrend is uh, wants to continue kind of as soon as it can. And so I believe until this uh, technical sell pressure is done, um, the we are likely to see uh, all-time highs very soon. Thank you for hearing my analysis. Thank you for tuning in. Try Engineering Robo free with a link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all the other social media down below. Let me know what you're doing with your bag. If you have one, do you trade Bitcoin, XLM? Uh, do you scalp the market during this crazy sideways, up and down, volatile price action? Um, or are you like accumulating for the uptrend in the long term? Or have you kind of like sold all at the bottom here with this uh, crazy FUD uh, filled uh, section in the market? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for tuning in and tune in for the next one.